Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I try a bunch of different restaurants in the Bay Area. Whether you're already living in the Bay Area or you're planning on visiting, I hope that this video can serve as a guide for some yummy places to eat. Let's get into it. So I just picked up some donuts from Modo Donuts. I've never been here, but they sound and smell amazing. So these are mochi donuts and they're made to order so they're hot and I'm ready to try them. I got Hawaiian passion fruit, cookies and cream, and dark chocolate. I think I'm gonna start with the dark chocolate. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow, wow. So I've never had a mochi donut before. That texture is amazing. It's like chewy like mochi, but crunchy. Like the outside's crunchy. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Okay, I could eat that whole donut, but I'm gonna try the other ones. Next, we have the cookies and cream. My hand is full of chocolate. Wow. I wanna show you this texture. Sean is gonna love these. Last one is the Hawaiian passion fruit. Wow. That one is super sweet. I definitely like the chocolate and cookies and cream better, but still amazing. Highly recommend this place. And let's go to the next food place. We just went to a slice of New York. Neither of us have been there. It's in San Jose, but I heard great things about it, so. We got garlic knots. Oh, that's so greasy. I know. And a slice of pizza. Mm -hmm. Margarita pizza. Let's try this. Mm -hmm. Can I put this on there for a sec? Mm -hmm. That is good. Apparently the owner is from New York. You know it's good when you immediately go back in for seconds. This hits the spot. Can I eat this yet? Mm-hmm. That's the best garlic knot I've ever had. Try some with the, what is it, marinara? Mm-hmm. Wow. You're gonna have stinky breath after this. Mm-hmm. They did not jip us on the garlic. That's so good. Definitely recommend this place if you want some really good pizza. It is a little pricey, but it's good. <laughs> We just went to Craftsman and Wolves and got a lot of stuff, honestly. So I also accidentally tried this coffee already. It's a Dolce de Leche Latte, and it's amazing. I got it hot. I think I can easily say this is the best latte I've ever had. Really? Try that. Is it really hot? It's so creamy. No. Wow. It's amazing. <laughs> we were gonna go to Rise and Grind and try a new coffee place, but I'm um, glad we didn't. So we got three different food things. This one's called the savory travel cake. I don't know exactly what's in it, but. Pepperoncinis, There's definitely green pepper. peppers, jalapeno, I think. It's kind of crispy on the outside, right? Soft on the inside. Yeah, that's how everything's been, like but it is. Yeah. yeah, it's nice and like fluffy on the inside. Now I wanna try this famous muffin that Emily Mariko gets. And it's called, oh, it's called the Rebel Within. And I want to first cut it open. I can see that it has a runny egg yolk, which is what I thought. Whoa. I know. It's like a full egg. Mmm. Right. Super savory. It tastes like cornbread. Is that what it tastes like? Yeah. Wow. 
You could definitely have this as a breakfast. It's like a whole meal. Do you think they make the eggs for I have no first, clue or do how they, they get cooked inside? I bet they cook the egg inside, but I have no clue. But how does the egg stay round and whole like that? It, oh, shoot. They must like cook it a little. I don't know what they do. They like soft boil it, mm -hmm. very soft, and mm -hmm. then put it in and bake it. It's a mystery. It also looks like there's ham in it, maybe. You probably can see it's on like the description. There's ham what or it something. Is. Yeah. Mmm. They also gave us purple carrots, I think. I hope it's not a beet. It might be a beet. Pickled carrots, I think. Having whatever this is, I think maybe pickled carrots, makes it taste like a Thanksgiving meal. Mm -hmm. Finally, we have this beautiful muffin. It's the cocoa carrot muffin. It looks like just a chocolate muffin, but apparently there is carrot in it. Now in this episode of Jessica Makes a Mesica. It's not super sweet. But it's super chocolatey. I probably use a lot of cocoa mm -hmm. powder. Mm -hmm. I like it. Later. I think looking at the muffin, you think it's gonna be like super chocolatey, fudgy, and sweet. But it's a little more. It's still sweet, but it's like almost savory as well. I like it, but I definitely love my sweet muffins. I don't think I would get that one again, but I would definitely get the Rebel Within again and this latte. Those were my two favorite things. What were your favorite things? Um, the savory those, travel cake? Yeah, those were amazing. Yeah. Okay. Next food place. Okay, we went to Dandelion Small Batch Chocolate, and we got two things. I love sugar and chocolate, and I'm very excited. So, the first thing we got is called the Big Mac. It's like a macaroon, and it's filled with chocolate ganache. I think it was passion fruit, like yeah. in the ganache, yeah? It was like Madagascar passion fruit. Do you want the first bite? No. No. Well, there's salt on top, or coconut and salt. That chocolate is maybe too sweet. Whoa. That chocolate is super sweet. The passion fruit. Wow. It's definitely good, but maybe a little too sweet. That chocolate is nice and creamy. The macaroon pastry part is a perfect texture. A little sweet, so I probably wouldn't get it again. And then we have the s'more. This is marshmallow chocolate ganache with a little, little flaky salt and graham cracker base. How good does that look? Listen to that crunch. I think the best way to describe it is a gourmet s'more. Oh yeah. That base is like a gingerbread cookie, like consistency. But it's graham cracker, right? Yeah. Yeah, graham cracker. If I'm being honest, these were both very good. I would not get either again because it's pricey. And just personally, there's something about a normal s'more. This is too um, too elevated. What's your review? I'm not a huge fan. They're good. Like they're good. They're a few bites. And they taste like legit, like high quality ingredients. But yeah, personally, just probably wouldn't get it again. Okay, let's move on to the next place. <laughs> Okay, we're at Los Amigos. This is our second time here, and we got pupusas the first time. They're so good. It's like a potato tortilla. Crunchy on the outside. Crunchy on the outside, and soft, soft in the middle. <laughs> he got the meat one. Okay, what's the review? It's so good. Is it spicy? 
bite. I'm gonna try a bite too. Yeah, it tastes like a quesadilla, but softer dough. More of like a bready dough tortilla, because it's like potato. We just tried this guac. Sorry for all of the trucks, but I've never had guac with cucumber on top, and it's so good. It's like super refreshing. I might start doing this. It's crunchy on the outside. <laughs> it's crunchy on the outside and soft in the middle. <laughs> We just got Tea Hut. I got the strawberry energy with regular boba and cheese cream. And Sean got pineapple punch. No, yeah, pineapple punch, which is pineapple slush blended with tea and ice, regular boba and cheese cream. This is strawberry slush blended with tea and ice as well. So strawberry pineapple. And let's shake it up. <laughs> it tastes floral. There's like a floral flavor I'm getting. I've never had a drink like this with boba. You try mine. Mmm. Ooh, I don't know which one I like more. They're Whoa. both pretty sweet. I probably would get a lighter sweetness. Here's the thing. I love sweet things, but it doesn't sound like I do from this video because I was saying that the pastries were too sweet too. But I do think it's just a little too sweet. This one not so much, but the pineapple maybe a little. It's pretty big for the price, so I'm not gonna say that this one is overpriced. Go get yourself some Tea Hut if you're in San Francisco. We just went to Taco & Co here in Berkeley and we got the Taco Tuesday Burrito Tacos. Okay, this is like Sean's favorite cuisine. <laughs> Mexican, so you can try first. We have a really good place where we go to school, so let's see if these compare. It's not as like spicy as uh, the or, like, peppery. Overall, like if I had this for the first time and I didn't know what to compare it to, like I'd be like, oh, this is really good. Let's try. Mm -hmm. Crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. That's the theme of this video. I should title that. Foods that are crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. The cheese isn't as noticeable as the cheese no. where we go um, and the burrito tacos near us at school. Also, they're smaller. So the Taco Tuesday ones, he said, are smaller than their normal ones. And they're about half the price. So they might kind of be like the same price. I'm sure they're not half the size as the normal ones, but. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's still really good. I wouldn't pay like 450 per taco, which I think it's something like that. But Taco Tuesday, you should get this. Okay, so I have three separate boxes here. I got their normal bimbimbap, which is rice mixed with veggies and beef. And they also gave me a spicy sauce that's over there. But we have the sides right here. And then that's also, some of the same sides are in both of these boxes, like the bean sprouts. I see an egg here, the beef, and the rice. So I'm gonna mix this all together. Okay, so I'm actually gonna keep the sides separate. I'm gonna mix the rice in with the main bimbimbap dish. So I'm not quite sure what this is. It might be a potato, maybe? And I'm not sure what this is. I've seen this before, but I'm not positive. I'm just gonna try this. Hmm, not much flavor, kind of like jello-y consistency. Okay, let's try the main dish. Kimchi, I think. Mm. This might be one of the best bimbimbops I've had. That meat is super tender and the flavor is just so good. Let's try this. I think it's potato. Yeah. It's yeah, potato. this is potato. I don't know a lot about Korean food. I know that I like it and it tastes good, but 
I'm unfamiliar with some of the ingredients. This rice is super sticky, sticking everywhere. They give so much food for the price. I would definitely get this again, and I probably will when we're back here in the summer. I like the addition of the cooler vegetables, like the cucumber. It helps cool down your <laughs> mouth after the spice. Very good. <laughs> We just got, or I got, somi somi, and we also got morungrain, which is Korean fried cheese. And we've had both of these before. They're right next to each other. This ice cream is amazing. I got milk. Flavored. It does taste like, yes, it's milk flavored. And I would say it does taste like milk. Like it doesn't taste like a vanilla. And I have the fish on top, which is like made from waffle batter. And then you can get the fish filled, so I have custard in the top. So it's a really you can get, like, decadent Nutella. dessert. What mm -hmm. else? Nutella, cheese, um, umami. Ube? Oh, ube, yeah. Mm -hmm. I put sugar on mine. He has hot sauce and mustard. Because I have sugar on mine, it tastes like fried dough with mozzarella melted cheese in the middle. Crunchy on the outside, soft in the middle. 10 out of 10. I know it's sausage, but it's a oh. hot dog. Oh. I like the mustard and spicy mayo choice. Mm. So that just about wraps it up for this video. I barely scratched the surface with all the different foods and places that you can try in this area. But like I said, I hope that this can offer some sort of guide for some great places to get food. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.